Hello again. Um, today I'm going to show you a useful little nymph. It, it works real well at Rutland Grafham. Um, had great success with it on around the months of June and July. Very good. Trout seem to pick up on it. Um, I've got a B175 in the in the vise. It's a size 10, but I would usually tie this on a size 12. I just thought it would be easier for the purposes of the video to um, show you on a 10. I'm using Uni yellow thread, it's 6 op. Now although I'm using the yellow thread, when the fly is complete and it's in the water it looks more olivey. Uh, so let's just get the thread onto the hook. I'll trim away the excess there. Uh, now the thread, the body here it needs to be carefully done. I'm not a particularly careful tire uh, and I do tend just to lash it on but in this case it needs to be quite precise. Uh, I'm going to use the feathers from just a green green dyed Indian cape for the tail just take a few from there uh, I'm going to lay it on. Once I've got it on, I just want to check my length. Slightly long. I'm just going to adjust it. Once I've got it exactly where I want it, I'll take off the excess. Just about there. And I'm going to run my thread all the way back up the shank of the hook. And I'm going to leave just about an eighth of an inch from the eye. Uh, there's going to be quite a lot happening there. Uh, near the end. Now, when I get about halfway down, I'm going to insert a couple of ribs. The first one is a silver rib, it's just um, blue flash, very fine silver wire. And this is really to protect the next rib. Not too worried about that bit sticking out at the back there, you might not be able to see it. Um, it's just natural peacock herald and I've already stripped back a piece um, for the purpose of this, just to save a little bit of time. Uh, I find the natural stuff, a lot of people rave over the eyes, but you get some real nice effects with just an ordinary strip of peacock herald. Once I've got that in, I'm going to take great care going up the body. I want it to be as even as I can get it, really. Um, a lot of people have suggested to me that we sh I should use the UTC thread. Um, but I find that the yellow UTC, it doesn't go the same colour in the water as this uni thread. Uh, and that's why I I've come back to just using this. All the way up to the end. Uh, and first of all, I'm going to take my peacock curl, bring it round the back, and I'm going to go the opposite way. To the thread. front just walk that in now I see David McFairley probably just snap it off at this point unfortunately I would just pull the fly to pieces so I'll snip it away and um, then I'm going to take the steel wire up in the opposite direction and as I said it it, it does 
create quite a pleasing pattern on the fly but its main purpose is to keep the uh, peacock kettle protected now I have tried um, coating it with varnish and bug bond and various other things but it doesn't go the same colour in the water so I've gone back to just protecting it with a wire rib and once you've locked that wire rib in place we can twist that away now um, as you would with a normal dial back I'm going to tie in a little beard I'm just going to use the same feather as I used for the tail just trying to get them a little bit even now I've been shown various ways of doing this um, but I find the best way is just to dress it in grab it with the fingers a couple of lock and turns just to just to get it in place then pull it straight now I know I've got too much coming back so I'm just going to ease it back slightly and once I'm happy I'm going to put some real tight turns in at the head and then I'll be able to put my snips in there and just clear that away now you can see it's probably sticking down too much I'll just put a couple of extra wraps in to get my beard sitting how I want it now to finish this fly off I'm going to tie in some jungle cock eyes uh, I'm using a a cape that's been dyed with picrid uh, produces a really vibrant yellow colour um, I never use whole feathers on small nymphs I've already split a feather and these feathers are probably a little bit bigger than what I would normally use uh, but again it's for the purpose of the video I just wanted you to see the effect that you get I'm going to dress the first feather up now I've not trimmed all the all the jungle cock away like you would normally because I like to have the little straggly underwing you can see here uh, the feathers there because it, it does splay out and it, it gives the fly just another excuse my fingers another dimension Again, once I've got it in place, I'm just going to pull the waist that's gone out the front, trim it away. Try and get a bit closer with that. And once that's done, I can finish that off. tons of thread um, I just use a bit of Sally Hansen nail varnish for the head just so it doesn't come to bits on me And once I've got the, the nail varnish on, I'm just going to run what's left of my feather uh, through the eye. He says, try again. And what this does is it will just take all that excess varnish off from the eye and save a bit of drama when you're in the boat trying to tie it on. Uh, I'm just going to tidy this up slightly. And um, there's my olive dial back variant. Thanks for watching.